Yo, 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 what is going on, AOEM Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and today we are going to be answering the question of will accounts be getting wiped? And in short, really the answer is no. Uh, but we're going to go a little bit more in depth with that, along with just kind of talk about some of those implications for beta games, uh, along with as we transition to global release, because there is some, I don't know if I want to say stigma, but I feel like there is some pushback from some players on that as it pertains to people who think that they kind of get a head start versus not a head start, etc., so, as always, before we really dive into all of the meat and potatoes, if you enjoy the content, make sure you because it really helps us out. So, expanding on this, what has been confirmed, that we will not be having to wipe any accounts. What that really means is that when you get into beta early on, and I think just like anything, especially in this genre that we call, or I call, Kingdom Builders, is that... I think inherently it is just known that if you get an early right and you continue to play and you're active, you are going to be able to have a more developed and progressed account. Again, with the keyword being as long, or I should say the key phrase being as long as you <laughs> stay active. Uh, there can be some uh, advantages to, to a degree, but there can also be some disadvantages. And I'm actually going to talk about both of these because for those that maybe have not been playing kingdom builders for a while here you just may not necessarily be privy to these so with some of the advantages that clearly goes into it yes you will be able to have a more progressive develop account you will be able to uh, get more system rewards right because typically early on in beta they're usually doing a lot more adjustments or maintenances or if they're doing hot fixes they're just more frequent in the beginning of a game's life than they are later and because of that they usually will issue rewards or forms of compensation throughout a beta i mean really throughout the entire game it's just you more often than not get more of those earlier on in a game's life i.e a beta an alpha beta uh and even probably shortly after global more so than you will after the game's been out for a year two three years uh where it's less likely that you're going to be seeing a frequency of those amounts some of the other general benefits is that you get an opportunity to learn more a little bit about the game you get an opportunity to experience more about the game so for example if you were to you know take that on you might have opportunities uh, to for example maybe establish yourself as a player establish uh, your alliance maybe even establish your kingdom a little bit more and there's always the opportunity that players may be willing to start new accounts there if you are allowed to which i don't think there's any we'll have to see after a lot more accounts get made i think there's only two kingdoms at the moment uh, but you'll also have opportunities, for example, if they open up things like migration and they allow for you to head to different kingdoms, whether that's seasonal, if it's just at any point in time, if there's any limitations or restrictions there, you may have opportunities to benefit a little bit more from that because there is always this outlook of, hey, you know, I'm, I may consider going to a more established kingdom, uh, especially if they're a little bit well known or they're just more well put together compared to going to a kingdom that may not be as well established. So again, these are kind of like macro views of looking at uh, the game uh, in its entirety outside of what you might just view as an individual kind of more progression focused or stance um, and then if we touch on right, what are some potential downsides of being able or disadvantages right from playing early well i i think uh some of these or sorry if they don't do account wipes right some of the disadvantages is that right if you start early you you uh, it, it's the wild west let's just be very clear Anytime you're getting into alphas or betas, it very much is that because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to expect. You can't organize, uh, which I guess is like the second one. You can't really organize groups, uh, so to speak, or projects. And this is pretty well known in Kingdom Builders. So the example would be if you know if you've if you've come from Rock, if you've come from uh, Infinity Kingdom, Call of Dragons, other Kingdom Builders that do things like restart projects or just new Kingdom start projects. And the short version of that is where you end up having a group of players, uh, and it can be a group of players that could be 20, 40, 50, 80, 100, 150, more than that, right? It could fill multiple alliances, and you're basically all coming together and wanting to start out in a new kingdom uh, because there are obviously some, some inherent advantages that you get when you kind of go in with a big group and you have a large enough presence to kind of impact certain things. So the challenge is, is that you wouldn't really be able to do something like that uh, you really wouldn't be able, for the most part, unless you're, you know, spending, uh, unless you're kind of like that mid-high spender, probably more so high spender range, right? You may not necessarily be able to have a heavy influence or an influence at all in kind of the direction where the kingdom goes. You might just kind of have to, you know, play it by the window of your seats. Now, that is really kind of more if you care about that or not. 
uh, you as an individual player, and that's kind of how I'm looking at it from right now, right? You will basically kind of be, you know, you'll kind of succumb, if you will, to whatever direction the kingdom that the kingdom goes in, right? And that may or may not affect you in in however many potential ways. Uh, when you're new, you may not necessarily be able to play the most refined version of the game from the beginning, right? That to some people can be important. If you know, I, again, I know some people that played in beta for Call of Dragons and people that played in beta for Infinity Kingdom and Rise of Kingdoms and some of them just stopped. They just said, no, look, I want to play the game when it's a little bit more fine-tuned. It's a little bit more, has kind of gone through the ringer a little bit and hopefully come out better. Not to say that that's the majority of people by any means, but there are some people who view things that way. So those could be some uh, disadvantages to playing uh, early or like I said not necessarily having account wipes right so you can kind of keep your power intact uh, and then yeah so I mean I, I think those are probably the couple that I would name on both sides I think as far as the general idea of account wiping or not I'm not really opposed to it because uh, I mean this is standard practice some games will do account wipes others won't but I think more often than not they don't do account wipes because if you did account wipes then it makes it harder for you to justify allowing for purchases to be made uh right so i I think most my view is pretty simple right if you're going to do a beta for a game your game has to already just be or even an alpha your game has to already be um well i should say this if you're going to do an alpha and or beta and you're going to allow money to be spent let me be pretty specific here my view is that your game should already be close like you should have a solid foundation and it's just a matter of fine-tuning building pieces right like let's just fix some columns here and there let's adjust things over here right like you should really have a well thought out product that you're putting out there before you allow purchases to be made right and even though yes you do need people to test the game keep in mind people can test your game without spending money on it People can test your game where you just allow for them to spend a dollar, right? And that is just, you know, you can even explain it to people and say, yeah, look, if you want to support the game, right, you can spend a dollar. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe they'll get, you know, a couple things, but you let it, but as long as you're up front and you're like, look, you know, we're either going to do resets or we're not going to do resets. And so, you know, there are ways around that. But again, I understand it from kind of the business perspective on, you know, hey, if we can start making money during a beta, you know, why not? And, and that is something that I've seen from a number of kingdom builders as well. So for me, like I said, there's really nothing against it. I understand it is what it is. Uh, but again, for those of you that have been playing for a while now, I, I obviously would be pretty curious, or even for those of you that have played betas, or if you uh, have been in alphas, you know, uh, for games that you participated in, you know, again, did they do account resets come global release? Did they not? Uh, right? Did they have full payment uh, options available uh, from prior to beta and then after beta if you paid attention or if you noticed that uh, did they not have payments available and if so how did they circ- how did they kind of work around that right were they able to still have a successful launch uh, from having a well-rounded alpha and beta uh, uh, where they didn't allow any money to be spent regardless if they did a reset or not uh, obviously would be curious there on that one uh, because again, right, there's other players out there that have played other games besides myself, and I'm sure have seen other things. So for me, it's always nice just to kind of read how other situations play out in games. Uh, so yeah, with that in mind, I think that is probably more or less going to do it for me on this one. It's nice to know that at least for those of us who are playing early, uh, and however long you may play, that you at least have the comfort of knowing that they're not going to do account wipes for, again, those that care and, and find value in that. And then for others, well, yeah, I guess it really probably wouldn't matter too much to you. I, I don't see people that are uh, being very outspoken about this on the uh, AOE, uh, AOEM uh, uh, Discord. Uh, so, yeah, but again, as, as I'm sure people will enjoy at least knowing that, hey, my account's not going to get wiped, so I don't have to worry about it. And, yeah, would obviously love to know your thoughts on anything I shared. Let me know in the comments down below. That is going to do it for me. As always, until next time, we'll catch you all later.